Hi, Afnan here. I'm draining my aquaponic system today. And because of the restriction movement, I think I better harvest some of the fish that is in the tank. Uh, they are already uh, quite uh, grown up. So, well, first I got to drain the water. And I tried my best not to throw away the water. And what I did is to um, put a spare tank. So the first thing I need to do is to get this as much water as possible into the spare tank and I just drain it through a normal siphon action and once the spare tank is filled and both these tanks are quite full then only I will throw away water from this tank because I only have uh, one additional extra spare tank quite a number of fish in there it's quite it's been a long time since I last checked the uh, fish population so it's, I think it's about time for me to just uh, harvest a few you can see there's a spare tank waiting for it to be filled as much as possible then I'm going to drain the water so during this uh, restricted movement due to the COVID-19 well, we got nothing much to do, so we might as well uh, take care of our aquaponic system, harvest fish and put it in the freezer. Thanks. I don't need to drain the water, everything. Just going to leave about 6 inches or the most 1 feet of water. And the water will go up into the grow bed. But if I open up this pipe here, if I open up this ball valve, water will go out to the drain you can see from the siphon it's just overflowing because I removed the siphon bell so that's the royal flush all the siphon is flushing at the same time So once I did that flush, what I will do is switch off the water inlet, uh, switch off water, switch off the pump, switch off water. Just let it uh, flow out of all the grow bit. Okay, the ball valve is open. I'm going to switch on the pump. Switch on the pump, and you can see water coming out. Just put it in the drain. Look at those fish. Right. For the cash view, the bigger one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cash the bigger one and put it into the spare tank. From there, I can figure out what next to do. So there's no rush. I think good enough to catch some of the fish. Uh, there are a few big ones, a small ones, but uh, I'm going to try to catch the bigger one first. If uh, possible, water is around eight inches high. It would be difficult. They would be splashing around. There's still a lot of water. Alright. Uh, let's see what fish is this. Uh, this this patin, but still small. This patin is still small. But uh, just put it into the... Uh, let's see. That's patin. It's still small. I'm going to put it into the uh, spare tank. There's still a lot of water in here. Looks like I still have to wait. There's another part. Oops, there's another party. 
There's another button. Okay, there's another button. It's not big, yeah, but you, it's palatable, but still not big. Okay, I can see big button here. It's good for wow. That's the last one. It's the last one. It's a black tilapia. The last one. That's the fish that I caught a few minutes ago. And a few big patin in there. Fam tilapia. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, put back the smaller fish into the fish tank and mix them up with the fish in the nursery tank, if you can still call it a nursery tank, the auxiliary tank that I have. And the, the bigger part in, I'm going to store it somewhere to keep them alive, but uh, I have to make sure that I can easily catch them. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.